I, I look, that's an amazing performance. Right. It is. He's not a singer. He, He's an actor. I, I'm not blaming him. I'm not, I, didn't, I didn't criti. I didn't even criticize no, his singing. Agreeing. Where did that come from? <laughs> just agreeing. Yeah. Did you have sex with the Grinch or something? What's going on, What's going on with you? Hey, are you under the covers doing something to his crotch right now? His grind. <laughs> Damn, that's a nice double toaster shirt you got on. Where'd you get that? <laughs> DTMerch.com is where you can go to represent when you come to our show or anywhere. You know, we have some things in there that are our mainstays, like the black cotton tee with the white logo. I love that shirt. Got jerseys, we got caps, we got the backpacks, got the phone covers. Featured artists for March, that is Remus and Kiki Animation for the very well-selling Cosmic Danielle shirt. Nice. And of course you're buying this because you cherish the wisdom of the great cosmic one. Will she be making an appearance tonight, Danielle? If you if you summon her, your vibrations are high enough, if your frequency's going, I mean, it's all up to you, Do you Have you not seen me vibrating down here? <laughs> now, people can't see it up here, but the whole time down here, you can't see it. Look Watch at it. Watch it, it's, Colin. You see this right here? You can become a subscriber. Many ways, but the way I recommend is if you have an Amazon account, combine it with the Amazon pay button, put your username in there, put your password in there, press send. Ooh, you talk. You know, you think I'm vibrating right now? Ooh, why? Why are you tingling and shaking? That's because it's all that toasty goodness all over your body. This is not a laughing matter. This is serious, Danielle. This toasty goodness. So let's get into let's get into a little entertainment right now. I'm gonna tell you something that really entertains me. Mm -hmm. the, the, uh, Oz, mm -hmm. you've been witness to it. You've seen it. You love it. it the people out there have seen yes. it. The perfect impressions of the expert mimicker, <laughs> Danielle, with her expert <laughs> mimicry. Oh, do you do your fat Albert real quick? No, I don't. No, no, no. Come on now. We get get warmed up. Hey, 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 hey. See that? Oh my God! Is that, That's like the only line I fucking know. Is there a three hundred pound? Is there three hundred pound fat teenager in here? <laughs> Shut up! Oh my old Danielle, that was you. <laughs> <laughs> my God. Yeah, my God, that was great. Thanks. But the one that you did that really charmed the world, including me, was uh, was the Grinch. Oh, you like that? I like that. I remember the she did her Grinch impression. Uh, can you do you, do you uh, and we're talking about not that not that original Grinch. We're talking about that Jim Carrey Grinch. Oh, that's a hard one right there. That's yeah. True. Yeah. Like, can you do a little bit of it for us real quick? Uh, sure. Um, one man's toxic sludge is another man's potpourri. <laughs> <laughs> and then Max goes, what's that? And he goes, I don't know, some kind of soap. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, do you, can I ask you something? Sure. Do you take request? Sure. Can you do the uh, Max? Max! Fetch me my cloak. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let's compare. I don't think I do no, it just like let, it. Let's compare. Try it, try it. Do, do it one more time. Max! Fetch me my cloak. Get my cloak. Oh, I said. Oh, yes. we're not yet. <laughs> is that, are, there, are there two Grinches? Which one is the real one? I don't even know why they're trying to make another Grinch movie when we got something right here yeah, that cannot be topped. You ain't gonna ever top this right here, but y'all can for try. It, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and we have, we have this new Grinch mm -hmm. that's uh, being brought to you by the people that. Brought you those little talking yellow <laughs> testicles out there. Uh, my <laughs> friends, homies. Then, then. <laughs> I was his friend. Yeah. <laughs> Minions. These little, these little suppositories wearing glasses right here. <laughs> <laughs> and we're, of course, talking about illumination. And they said, you know something? Yeah, I know people like that uh, that Jim Carrey Grinch, but we're going to go back to kind of that classic Grinch because we're getting animated with it again. Ain't no real people in this. Now, it's bringing in some new technology. We got the, the, the CG animation going on because that's what the kids like today. But it's going one step closer back to that classic Grinch. And I have to say that I, I am a, I'm a person that loves the Grinch, so while I... I love what you've done, Danielle. So if you have my approval, then you've done yes. well. When we play this trailer, they're gonna. This, it, I know it's for the kids, but you're also gonna have to please people 
like myself. Let's go ahead and watch this trailer for The Grinch. Oh, hello. Happy holidays. Uh, <laughs> what's this? <laughs> Excuse me, are you getting that? No. <laughs> the Grinch. I'm going to ask Big Man first. I heard you over there chuckling. I can guess what this girl thinks, you know, over here. You don't Big know. Man, I know you. I know you. You like this mess over here. But uh, 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 Oz, what do you think about this? Yeah, I know. I like the the animation. It looks very, very, uh, you know, they come a long way with this whole nonsense. You know, Pixar started it mm -hmm. with, uh, you know, the cars and all that stuff. And I think Illumination is right, right behind these guys when it comes to uh, just making things look, you know, realistic for, you know, uh, this type of uh, animation style. And it's just... It's funny. They got some. They got some. Uh, some funny jokes in there, and it seems if he's taking it very seriously <laughs> as far as his assholery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. Uh, I'm, I'm. I'm. You know. I'm curious to see how that type of. Uh, you know, because he's being very, very fucking mean. Oh, he really. Yeah, he really is, man. Like he's practically shoplifting, and you yeah. know, he's a. Uh, He's, he, you know, he's giving people his uh, his herpes, you know, he's been, you know, putting <laughs> put pickles back. You know, it's uh, I, th that's the thing about it. You know, I guess it's a lot of parents may look at it and be like, well, I don't want my I don't want my kid being taught this bad behavior from the Grinch. But as we all know, the Grinch redeems himself at some point. Yeah. So that's probably going to depend on how this movie works out. Danielle, what do you think? Well, I think the movie, as far as the animation looks good, it's it doesn't look like shit to me. Um, I think that this is a story where you, it's always going to be entertaining for children, but in order for it to be like a really big hit in the movie theater mm -hmm. and hold, you know, uh, relevance will be if it's humorous enough for adults to enjoy it because yeah. we have seen so many um, renditions of The Grinch and people are already so hardcore with what Jim Carrey did with it that the expectation will be high, even though it is an animation. But I think the key to the success for this film will be to keep the adults uh, entertained and um, you know yeah. grateful for the movie. It, the the bar is set fucking high though. Let's be honest. Yes, I'm going to be that guy that says, "This is not my Grinch." Yeah, I'm a Grinch purist. Yeah, no, you don't stand a fucking chance. One because you don't have kids. Two because you're tied to the the real one. And three, because it's an animation, it's already hard enough for you to enjoy an animated film, I feel like. Well, I'm an, well, I'm not, an animator. No, no, it's not hard for you to enjoy it. It's The bar is set high for you, I feel well, like. Well, let me tell you why. Now, man, let me, let you, I'm like that villain that is actually sympathetic deep down inside because you kind of understand where <laughs> I'm coming from. Now, you know, there are certain things with this Grinch that is just going to be very hard to top for me. For one, that song, you're a mean one, Mr. Mm. Grinch. A lot of people have tried to do that cover. And all of them come out sounding like, sounding like them white man blues. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a heel. Put some bass in your voice. <laughs> Be a man. Hey, that's his Fergie version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me, when Scooby Doo, I missed the Grinch. Exactly. Scooby Doo, -doo. <laughs> nah, man, you don't come up here. What's that? A twenty-two Scooby No, nah, you don't come up here with the with, with that prohibition, you know, <laughs> juke joint version of this. Put some bass in your voice and do it right. Be a man. If you ain't got the bass in the Grinch song like the original, you ain't my Grinch. You're a mean one. Oh, yeah. Mr. Oh, Grinch, you really are a heel. If you can't, if you can't do that, <laughs> get out. You're not my Grinch. And I tell you, you know, you know who, uh, it's, and, and I don't, look, it's hard to top. So I, I understand. Nobody's going to top this guy. Nobody's been ever, able to ever have this voice that this character has had. You know who actually sang that song? Mm-mm. Tony the Tiger. There we nice. Well, that makes sense. Oh, I better get that adjusted. Apparently, Frosted Flakes give you mutant powers. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting electricity from your fingers right there. Uh, Tony the Tiger joined the gang. You got a red, red bandana on. <laughs> Y'all recognize Tony the Tiger, but Tony the Tiger was actually uh, voiced by a very classic voice actor. Guy with the most British-ass medieval name I've ever heard of. Thurl, oh. Thurl Ravenscroft. Right damn, there. damn, <laughs> Ravenscroft. Yeah, look, <laughs> looking like he's been drinking a lot. Right there. <laughs> but yeah, that is a classic actor. You can hear him. He did voices for Disney, where he did uh, he did voices for the Sword in the Stone, the Haunted Mansion. You, he did a voice in there. 
a lot of stuff. So I, I understand. Not a lot of people going to top that. But still, if you ain't going to top it, then I don't know. Maybe you need to just go and try something else. Uh, the other thing is the voice of the Grinch himself. Now, that's not even fair to say because the Grinch in the original didn't even have a voice. Right. You know, it was mostly done by narration. But even mm -hmm. in narration, you're not going to catch not even creepy, but just sliminess mm -hmm. that the Grinch had in his in his body, the way Boris Karloff, classic horror actor Boris Karloff, guy that played Frankenstein's monster mm -hmm. back in the day. Mm -hmm. uh, he sure did. Look at him. Man, you, you need, <laughs> hardly need any makeup. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, nobody's ever going to capture that. And if you hear that, again, it's just something that you're not going to be able to do. It could be perhaps that his shoes were too tight. It could be his head wasn't screwed on just right. No, you you fan of the original uh, Grinch, Oz? Yeah, I liked it. I mean, I didn't, uh, you know, I, I wasn't religious to it to a fault like you were, but uh, I enjoyed it when it came on because at that time, um, there were no such thing as primetime television shows, so we took whatever we could. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Who came on that night, we took whatever we could. No, so, that yeah. is true. And you know something? I don't mind them trying. Like I said, it was, wasn't really, wasn't really a, 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 the Grinch didn't really have a voice, you know. Right now, they got, they got my man here, uh, uh, Benedict uh, uh, Cumberblot, whatever, <laughs> right there, who's doing the voice of the Grinch. <laughs> Benedict Cumberclot. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody told me that's not right. But okay. Benedict Basket Case over here. <laughs> <laughs> Be nice. But no, he's an amazing actor. Amazing actor. Don't get me wrong. Everybody loves this guy. But the only thing with him doing, uh, doing the actual voice of the Grinch is that, like I said, there was a sliminess and I just did this, mm -hmm. this oozing, just uh, the self loathing that. Boris Karloff was able to get with uh, with the Grinch, uh, with Benedict Cumberbatch. He just sounds like a just like a he just sounds irritated, like a dude that's just kind of you know uh, 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 inconvenienced. <laughs> you know, I, it's I, I, that that whole just the words just oozing hatred for life from his voice that's what i think about the grinch now somebody like max where's my coffee i'm tired i i have green people problems <laughs> you know this is a, you know uh, uh although i will admit don't now, i'm not a big fan of the of the of the the jim carrey ron howard grinch but i gotta what? give credit where credit is due i'm not I'm how not, can you say that I, I will explain to you why in a little bit i like the way you Wow, you got a little Grinchy. How can you say that? I mean, that? what does the matter with you? You're a film <laughs> critic. Have you seen the movie? Wow. <laughs> I like the way. I'm sorry. I, apparently, I didn't get the, the handbook where it Man. said, to be a film critic, you have to love Ron Howard. No, and you Jim just got to know Grinch. good shit, right? <laughs> you got to be able to accurately point out the good shit and accurately point out the bad shit. Ron Howard's Grinch is good shit. Okay. I'll walk out of this fucking chord, room, sir. I swear to God. You, tr you struck a chord, sir. Uh, she took a big green fuzzy glove and just slapped me with it. <laughs> you, sir, have insulted me. <laughs> Let me just give credit where credit is due on that. I don't. Yeah, I, please, I, can you? Can yeah, yeah. Go down that road. Good, good. <laughs> give credit where credit's due. That's a good uh, bat. Jim Carrey. <laughs> Excellent, amazing oh, job. Yeah, he awesome. ain't no Boris Karloff, but did an amazing job with his version of the Grinch. With his coat and his hat, I look just like Saint Nick. <laughs> You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. I, 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 look, that's an amazing performance. Right, he's not a singer. He, he's an actor. I'm not blaming him. I'm not, I, didn't, I, didn't I didn't even criticize his singing. Where'd that come from? <laughs> Just agreeing. Yeah. Did you have sex with the Grinch or something? What's going on, What's going on with you? <laughs> Are you under the covers doing something to his crotch right now? His grind? <laughs> Besides that performance right there uh, being great, the thing with the, the this live version of the Grinch is that it's stretched out from, I, I guess, not maybe not even a 30-minute uh, short. Mm -hmm. and it's, you know, and it's coming from Dr. Seuss's, uh, uh, you know, his 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 his, yep. his story, you know, mm -hmm. which is, uh, you know, very elongated children's rhyme. Uh, and 
they've stretched it out to do all this filler. And almost, and as much as I love Jim Carrey's performance, almost just let him kind of kind of come in there and showboat and chew the scenery. And, you know, they just get it. It became the Jim Carrey show more than mm -hmm. it did The Grinch. Um, now, the other thing with that is that I, I will give, uh, you know, again, I like the design in it, but when you put live action to Dr. Seuss, it just looks creepy. Yeah. I'm glad they're going back to animation with this Grinch right here because I'm looking at the, the I'm not talking about the Grinch himself. As I said, looks great. These who's, they look yeah. like mutated humanoid rats or They're something, man. They're meant to man. look like that, though. And, uh, creepy like that? That is horrifying. I think what you could have done is that you could have, uh, the world is stylized enough. You didn't have to take that extra step. But then again, that's me. That's not, I'm not talking about everybody else. So that's why I'm glad to say that I'm glad that they've gone back to animation with this. Before I sound <laughs> too negative, I will say that this is a, it's a good looking, it, the animation looks nice. The mm. style looks great. I love I, I love the way it looks and uh, you know the who's right there. You see how they look? They look mm -hmm. great animation. Yep. You know, no no creep factor here. They you know they they look like cartoon characters. Uh, they don't look like mutants or, or you know, deformed people. I like I like uh, Max's little hipster pompadour. You know I like yeah. you know <laughs> glad that they can make make Max an animated character because in the uh, you know in the in, in the the remake it was just a live action dog and that was cool mm -hmm. but now we get the feeling of uh, this dog having a little more personality. So I'm not being completely negative, right? Mm. I mean, I don't agree with you at all. And I think it's because your heart is two sizes too small. <laughs> 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 well, maybe by the end of the movie, I'll, you know, that, 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 that little asshole in me will finally make my smile go turned up just like that. And I'll this, be like, I do love this. This new animation movie is not going to win your heart by any means, simply because it already has taken place by the original. But... This movie does stand a chance if it makes you laugh, if it has good writing. Jim Carrey's movie, you know, they had to get filler in there and let the Jim Carrey do his shtick. Now that they have this animated thing, they can kind of go cut loose and you'd like to see what their filler is going to be. Uh, you yeah. Know, as far as uh, how they're going to extend this thing, because they can go any which way with it now. And you know something, Oz? Uh, that's a good point that you're making right there about filler. You know, what you're talking about, like how they're going to fill this. And that's the thing that that actually gets me here um you know besides the filler and this is the reason why uh, and again not saying i want to hate this movie but this is the reason i'm just saying the reason why i love the original and see this not being able to top that even with this trailer is that the original is timeless you can watch it at any point it's not going to reference anything but the world that it's created in the world that it's in already with this trailer they're making references to pop songs that Illumination mm. already has licensing to. Yeah, that sucks. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I hate product placement and shit like yeah. that. Yeah. Cut that shit off. Even he don't like it. You know, that's because that puts you in there. I'm, all of a sudden, I'm not in the world of this of of of, of this creation anymore. I'm in, right. I'm I'm being reminded of Minions and Pharrell. Yeah. You know, I can see why you would be <laughs> frustrated with that. Yeah, that's you know, and, and and the other thing is that now that you have time to fill, Oz, you asked what are they going to be doing with filler? Well, with the with the original Grinch, you know, he was a. Uh, he was this he was just this mystery this mystery guy you know what he was you didn't know what he was what what, what he was about and that yeah, mystery I, worked. why was he green and all that yeah well yeah exactly what he was is that he was a he was just this 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 grumpy guy just walking around his cave on a hill all mad looking down on these people who ain't even done anything to him and they didn't even know he existed really yeah. and that's what that made the when he came in to do you know to to attack the town and rob them that did, that made that even creepier this no dude. they did do something they did do something to him don't you remember that no baby we talking about the original i ain't talking yeah. about i'm i'm going back to i ain't talking about that jim carrey they gave him a backstory I didn't need no. I don't need no Grinch origin, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I need, all I need to know is that he's this dude that's just mad on top of a hill, mad at people. I'm gonna go down there and fuck up y'all's Christmas, and I'm gonna come back, and then I'll, I'm gonna realize I'm an <laughs> asshole, and I'm gonna be good again. But you know, that's. But now it's not that. They taking the mystery out the Grinch to where it's like it's not even kind of creepy anymore. It's like the Grinch is now he's he's going downtown with everybody shop shopping at Whole Foods with the rest of the who the hipster who's out there. You know, he's just strolling amongst the regular people. Ain't nobody looking at this like, why is this anorexic Oscar the Grouch walking around with everybody? But I think no. it doesn't have a shot in hell anyways, just because it does already have so much up against it as far as movies 
pre, like before it that were even classics mm. and, and better. I mean, you, you're mm -hmm. not going to top it. You're just not. That's why I wonder, why do companies put shit out like this? Like, that you already have the original, you already have the Jim Carrey one. Why are, why are we not creating new characters and new ideas? Is it just because it's a, yeah. a staple that they know they can make money off of them that's yeah. familiar or what? Hollywood does this all the time. It's cyclical. They, they find a property that they already have access to. It's already familiar and half the work is done. Oh. Uh, yeah. Once familiarity mm -hmm. is there, they just sit back. Their timing is great for the holidays. Their, their marketing is great. They're gonna make money. Yeah, so That's I guess it. they're not it's, going in thinking this is gonna be the best classic Christmas, you know, ever. It's more just like this is easy money for us. It could be though. Yeah, it's 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 a timeless property, just like uh, a Christmas Carol. You're gonna see a bunch of those still come out every yep. year. You know what? Uh, I don't know how this is gonna be. As y'all as y'all see, I'm very very I'm very picky about my Grinches. Mm -hmm. well, I'll, I'll let you know. Cause yeah. I'm gonna be <laughs> <laughs> very I'm picky. Gonna be there. That's me right now looking at this trailer. I'm very picky about my Grinches, which is mm -hmm. why if I give you the Corey Coleman seal of approval for the Grinch, <laughs> you know you're done. Hey, all these other Grinches out there, okay. whatever happens with this one, whatever I feel about that Jim Carrey Grinch and whatever my love is for the original, baby, it ain't gonna ever top your Grinch. Can you hit me one more time Thank with God. it? Can Thank you one, God. one more time? Oh! <laughs> <laughs>